Chinese scientists challenge Google's quantum supremacy claim with a new algorithm and a bunch of GPUs. I don't know if you recall a while back, but uh, Google in 2019 said its Sycamore processor did a task in three minutes and 20 seconds that would take a classical supercomputer 10,000 years to do the same, hmm. right? So this is this is the whole quantum supremacy conversation. Can it mine ETH, though? That's right. That's the real question. Well, it is. It is. Funny enough, it is because the researchers in this case actually used 60 GPUs and took a different approach and different algorithm and were capable of turning the 10,000 years previously referenced into five days, which right. is not three minutes, to be clear, but it's not 10,000 years yeah. either. It's actually closer to three minutes than it is to 10,000 years. Uh, so they used, yeah, 60 GPUs. There's a picture of it. It does look like a mining rig, kind of. They're using NVIDIA V100 and A100 graphics processors for the experiments. Uh, yeah, you guys scroll down a little bit. You'll see Good. the GPUs. We have a subscription to sell China. Oh, do we? You're just not logged in, I guess. Okay, hold on. South China uh, Morning Post, by the way, is a Jack Ma product, part of Alibaba. And, and a, a follow-up, a story that we're going to get to here, uh, maybe two tabs from now. You're not going to log in, are you? Okay. Well, you don't need to see it. It's a, it's, a, it's a picture of a mining rig that they used in order to defeat the original. They think they can do even better and... I mean, it's certainly not a quantum computer, but they're saying that the gap between Google's quantum computer, the Sycamore in this case, and what you can achieve with classical computers is not as vast as they had originally represented, which has, of course, all kinds of implications.